Where we at, Kamel? We made it, I look blurry, but we made it to Vietnam. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. We made it to Ho Chi Minh City, our first border crossing. Woohoo! Saigon. Saigon, yeah. So the border crossing was actually surprisingly uneventful. It went yeah. fairly smooth. A bit of a hold up with the traffic for no a while. No dodgy there. people trying to take our passports or some of the weird things. Some of the stories we heard, but that was mm. fine. So then we saw a bit of um, the Backpacker Street. Crazy, crazy last night. So and we slept in today. Far too long because they had blackout curtains. We did a Cebu City. Yeah, we did that <laughs> same thing back then. So we woke up at 11.30 like, oh shit, we need to check out. And we did it. And we found a better place. So first thing we usually do when we come to a new place is just spend the day chilling and checking out the area. If it's a new country, we'll usually get a new SIM card so we can find our way around easily with data. And yeah, they have Uber here. They have Uber here. Yeah, it's probably super cheap, like the Philippines. That'd be good. And we're going to try a market. Not the market. Oh. I think we'd be looking for. Fa. We're going to try our first pho in Vietnam today. Pho, so yes. <laughs> pho, It's actually help. spelled pho, but a pho is a... Ho. Apparently it means prostitute in Vietnamese, so... Alright. Pho. Let's go get one! Let's go! So we seem to be choosing places with lots of stairs. So we're on the fourth floor. Notice, might have something to do with the prices we pay. <laughs> Good afternoon, Vietnam. We are trying, we tried to find a more local, sort of cheap place to eat. We want to try some pho, or pho, or pho, 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 pho. Yeah, we found a decent place, but a bit pricey, but I think we're in a tourist area. It's hard to, hard to find. We found some pho for about three bucks. And um, spring rolls. So we're gonna have our first pho. Oh, Ricky's already digging into spring rolls. First so, pho, done. That was actually really disappointing for our first pho. Overpriced and we just would rather have gone for more of a local place. So we're gonna do some googling and we found a good one that we're gonna try next. So You're... don't worry, we're gonna find a good pho. All right, now we're gonna to go to the market, I think, if we can find our way there. should have gone there. Did you see all that food? Oh my god, it looked amazing. So many cool different things. And this isn't even the main market, so we're gonna go find that now. <laughs> that Ricky, do you wanna play a game? Yeah. We need some alcohol. It's called drink every time you see a bike in Ho Chi Minh City. We won't have to drink that much. Joy oi. I already learned how to say alama or oh my god in Vietnamese. It's joy oi. So we're trying to find this market. We try to find some card, but the SIM card needed passports and our passports are at the hotel because the hotel likes to keep our passports. So we're trying to find this market anyway, and then we found this nice looking park, so we're walking through it and we're getting lost. Here we are in Bentan Market, I think. <laughs> the biggest market here, apparently. It's in a big, almost like a aircraft shelter. <laughs> Thank you. 
went to the main big market, it was all right. Pretty, pretty bloody um, packed with stalls and people and blah blah blah. But um, they were a little bit aggressive with their bargaining techniques, and they weren't too happy. But like we know the prices of a singlet in Asia, and we got that price. Well, we paid a little bit more, and they got really ang angry at us. But and then they said yes, so I don't understand. Um, but the other place had the same singlets for that price that we got it for without any arguments. I don't know. But it was alright. So check it out if you want. Ben Tan. This might be our Uber. Then we're going to Notre Dame. We haven't been in like a nice car in so long. We're in an Uber right now. <laughs> Feels kind of weird. <laughs> Here we are at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam, also known as the uh, Statue of the Immaculate Conception, or I guess Virgin Mary Cathedral. So as you can see at the top there, there's two bell towers, they're about 60 metres high. Um, and it's a very well known, it's actually French cathedral, started construction in 1863, finished in around 1880. So there's a little bit of history around here, back when the French were heavily involved. So we're going to go have a look around. Hopefully the bells go off. actually a post office. A really big fancy post office. Amazing. Pretty cool. Whoa. It's so cool. Good eh? This is Fortina. We're gonna go have a look at the Hard Rock Cafe. Because we know you love them. And Fortina loves Hard Rock Auntie Cafes. <laughs> And we get a dollar off. Eee. So we just walk it. we went the wrong way to the hard rock, but um found another cool little spot. It's all all chill here, not so much partying and history. It's good. I like <laughs> it. Look at it. Bookshops and stuff. It's bookshops, oh my god. Upper class. <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> Getting used to that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It actually feels safe. There's some anime going on. Some cosplay. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> oh, there's Hard Rock. Hard Rock. Don't know where we're going. To the basement. Hello. Wow. No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. A whole other place downstairs. There was already a restaurant up there. Whoa! Sounds like ten So for even more of a homage to Tina, we got a Singapore beer, Tiger. This place is so cool. Awesome. They got like Jimi Hendrix things and Bon Jovi. It's Rod so Stewart, not Southeast Asia like. Elvis <laughs> Presley. Yeah, it seems like a funky. This whole place seems a little bit like European. I don't know. Even before where all the bookshops were, they were like a made back. But I imagine. <laughs> 
some a little small town in Europe. See you later. Sorry guys, the camera died, but you didn't miss much. We used my phone for a bit anyway, so. We just left the Hard Rock Cafe, got an Uber, and came here. And now we're going back to the market to get some food, now that we're actually hungry. I'm excited! I'm excited! Maybe some good food. Good food. For, 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 fucking hell. Who are you on for? I don't know. I might not eat for. I might like I all sushi. those little dumplings and stuff there. Of course you do. You yeah. like dumplings too, you little dumpling. Getting ourselves some dumplings. So we risked the camera in the rain to come to the market to get some dumplings, some dim sum. Um, and we're still on the lookout for the best fur. We will get there tomorrow, I promise. But here we go. We also on the way we found 50,000 dong, so we're using that to buy dumplings. I looked around, there was no one there, so oh well. Why not? some watches and some clothes but we didn't and we just booked our little tour for the Kuti tunnels and we go crawl down some claustrophobic holes in the ground but yeah anyway we are at a craft beer pub and I'm having uh, of course. my first craft beer <laughs> since our first day in Cebu maybe or second day I don't know we'll put the video up we had some good craft beer there anyway but now this one's quite nice it's an American paella